Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I asked you guys if you wanted to see a AliExpress cheap finds. Um, I think I said under $20. I think it might even be under $10. I'm going to show you guys what things I picked up, how much they were, and what I really think of them. I'm telling you guys a lot about AliExpress. I have no affiliation with any of these products or the sellers or anything. They don't know. But I'm sending people over to buy the things. I just came across some pretty awesome things and I thought I'd share it with you guys. If you guys want to know what my cheap finds are from AliExpress, then keep watching. Oh, okay. Before I begin, the lip color that I'm wearing is I lined my whole lip with the NYX retractable lip liner in the waterproof one in sand beige. So I lined it with this. I popped a little bit of Huda Beauty's Muse just onto my lip just to kind of mattify it a little bit. I guess we're just gonna start off with the most amazing. I'm not gonna count these down. So it's my Lumi Duo case. Now, oh, did I get mail? I'm not telling you guys not to buy things. I'm not saying don't go buy the actual branded versions of these. It's more so like I purchased the cheaper ones just to test them out, just to see if they would work and things like that. So I'm just kind of giving you guys like alternatives. This, on the Lumi website, it is $69.95 US. That's not even New Zealand, you guys, it's US. $70 US, which in New Zealand, FYI, if anyone's wondering, is $95 in New Zealand. Shipping is gonna be $18 US. So in New Zealand, it's $116 to buy the Lumi Duo case and ship it over to us. I went on AliExpress now, I was, just, I was just doing a little hunt and I came across this dupe for it. Now it even says Lumi. I mean, I'm not saying I want to tell people to not buy the brand and to not support it. I'm just saying a lot of us can't really afford to spend like $116 on a case. This one was $9.55 US and even with shipping, case came to 15 US. We'll do 10, we'll round it. $10 US in New Zealand is $13.69. I chose the pink rose gold one. Now, as you can tell, it's got, by the way, ignore this. This is just like one of those pop socket things. I bought it from Amazon. By the way, my one's a bit worn out because I've had it for a while, so the edges have worn out a little bit. But it's got lights on the back. It's got lights on the front. I'm gonna turn it on so you can see. It's got a button over here as well. So when you press the button, the front lights up. I don't know how to show you guys this. So, okay. Okay, can you see this? If you guys hold down the button when it's on, it dims. I don't know if you saw that. But yeah, it just dimmed. And if you hold it down again, then it lights up again. It's got a few settings. So you turn it on, the front lights up, and then you press it again, and the back lights up. And then I think you press it again and it flashes, or both lights up, and then you press it again, and then it flashes. So to turn it off, you have to double click it. If you have it on the front and it's too bright for you, and if it's too bright for you, just hold down on the button and it dims, so it's barely any light as you can tell. Then my face is lit up. How cool is that? It's amazing. I have no regrets about it at all. And you just charge it using the little, it comes with cable. I think it comes in like gold, black, other colors. I love this. Um, honestly, I don't get as much use out of it, but I probably would if I start doing like Snapchat. Um, videos or Instagram live. That's really handy. So yeah, I love it. Then when I bought this, I also wanted to get like some iPhone cables. So this iPhone cable, and I got it in pink so it matches my case because I'm a dork like that. This was about $4.89 US. I bought two. So it's just a very long cable and it's about, I think it's three meters. I don't know why I bought three meters. I don't need three meters, but I have it like plugged into my wall in my room and it kind of comes along to my bed. For the three meter cables, I mean, you could buy a lot cheaper. I wanted this one because the cord wouldn't get tangled and because it was long, because it was pink, but it works. And I bought two. So this is like my backup one because honestly, if you buy them in store here, they were quite expensive and you can't even often get the really long ones anyway. So, oh my goodness, another thing that's really expensive here that I purchased off AliExpress are those tempered glass um, screen protectors. These ones, it's like a, it's like a screen protector. Mine's a bit dirty, actually. One moment. One moment, please. The little line here where you just pop it on. They're so good. It's like the thinnest piece of glass and it protects your screen. I always need these because sometimes I crack the edge of my screen protector. How many did I buy? Oh. I bought 10 of these for $5 US. They all came with like these little wipes that you could use for $5. Honestly, like these things, even on Trade Me here, it would be about $7 US, maybe? Not US, $7 New Zealand. I can get like a whole bunch for so cheap and I can just replace them myself. Like, it's a really good find and it's free shipping. A lot of these things are free shipping. The case, I had to pay for shipping. I think I had to pay like $5 US for shipping. Keep in mind that you might get this in about two to three weeks. It's coming from China. Sometimes it's free shipping 
shopping, so you can't really argue about that. So it takes a while to get to you, but I have no complaints. I just often forget about what I've bought anyway, so it's like a surprise when it arrives. I've probably gone through one or two. I love that I have backups and I don't need to buy them if anything happens. Another thing, the NARS Eater Brush. This was $2.55. I'm not sure how much the NARS one is. Maybe it's at least like, NARS is expensive, you guys. Don't quote me, but I'm thinking like $60, $70. I don't know. That's New Zealand, by the way. We're going to be jumping from currency to currency, so please keep up. I'm probably not going to do the conversion, so I'll tell you guys if I'm in US or New Zealand. When I first started using this, I thought that it was good. It is good for what it is. Like you just pop your contour and then you just kind of blend it out. It's nice and tapered. It's amazing for that. After washing it a few times, I've noticed that sometimes the hairs pop out. Like I'll try to pull some out now. Nothing came out. Great. The hairs do kind of come out. It wouldn't last you very long if you're trying to wash it, you know? So it does say nails on it. I don't have the actual brush to compare it, but if you want like a cheap alternative just to use in the time being, just be careful that you might not want to be so rigorous washing it maybe just spot clean it and then wash it once in a while but very carefully for the price like $2.55 it's not bad if you want to try it out you know what I mean next awesome find is I own the original Anastasia Beverly Hills number 12 brush and this has to be my favorite eyebrow brush right and it's dual ended it's just amazing it's like an angled brush on one side and it's got a spoolie on the other and it's just amazing for just doing your brows I've even done eyeliner with this and it's pretty good I was just browsing on AliExpress as you do and I thought hey I love this brush I wonder if there's like a dupe for it I found these ones Anastasia one I think I spent like I don't know let me let me have a quick look it's $18 US on the website and guess how much do these were these were like 95 cents in US and free shipping so I was like what so I got two just to see what it's like and if you can tell these two are the AliExpress ones because it's not actually identical like the ones a little bit taller it's just by a tiny bit so this is the original one and AliExpress express ones are a little bit tiny bit thicker in density it's angled a bit differently so this is the Anastasia one this is AliExpress ones personally I like the um, Anastasia one but for the price point if you want something similar why not check this out you know what I mean like it's not that much different the only thing is I noticed that when I was washing it little hairs are being a bit weird off the spoolie like they start kind of unraveling a little bit and you can just pull one out there's that but it's not a big thing I love the Anastasia one more but for the price point honestly the these are more affordable especially if you want to try out something similar and you're on a budget let me just talk to you guys about the eyelashes that I'm wearing today so these eyelashes I got from Aliexpress and you guys asked me in my last video which ones I was wearing it was in a three pack that's what they look like I think I've popped them in my last video or my favorites video but I'll also link Put the link down in the comments not in the com comments in the description box so these are really nice and fluffy and honestly they look like they could be high end like high end lashes or just you know proper lashes just because they have a really nice light lash band and they're nice and fluffy quite flattering on your eyes i don't have to trim them at all aside from the fact that the little band edges like i don't know if you can see like that little bit i would just snip off the tiniest amount they're amazing and i think these were about these were about a dollar 86 us what so cheap. So I've also picked up some other ones. I haven't actually tried these ones out, but I do love these ones. And you get three in a pack. Not bad for $1.86. I usually use these kind of lashes on myself just because I love trying out cheap alternatives for you guys and I use them in videos and it's kind of nice to say oh this one didn't cost like $20 you know what I mean so I've just been trying out some more cheap alternatives for you guys and I do really like these ones. AliExpress is pretty good because they give you reviews of things as well but I never actually look at them. I'll be honest. So actually these ones might be nice too. I might wear them out afterwards. Finds for if you're a freelance makeup artist. I got packs of these little acrylic containers. These are ones that I just kind of give to clients um, for brides for their wedding day and I just pop their chosen lip color into the little container. Or I even pop some translucent loose setting powder for them so they can touch up their t-zone on the big day. So I just pull like a whole pack of them and they're all individually wrapped so that's quite handy. It's a lot cheaper buying them from AliExpress than I found even at the Chiola shop. Sometimes it can be quite pricey and you don't get a lot. I'll tell you guys how much I bought these for. I bought in total it was 40 packs of them and they were $6.63 so you get 40 of them which is ridiculous. So and I think they're about 2 grams. You know what you could do? You could take them to like a, a makeup store and be like can I have a sample of like your foundation so you can try it out. I, I would do it. I would ask if they say they don't have anything to put it in. I'll be like, here you go. Like I said, if you're a freelance makeup artist and you have to go through a lot of disposables, 
I bought these mascara ones. There's so many on AliExpress, you guys, like heaps. I bought a lot of these pink ones just because, I don't know, they look cute. 150 of them, it was $4.52 US, so that's ridiculous. That beats like even buying in any makeup store in New Zealand, even at the Tudor shop. You can't beat it because they will buy it from these places anyway and they just repackage it and sell it to you. So I bought a whole bunch. The only thing is if I were to buy these again, I would probably get ones that are a bit smaller like these ones. I bought these from the pharmacy. They were expensive like compared to these ones. But I would just get some tinier ones for like your bottom lashes. Yeah, you could just pop them in your mascara, apply it to clients without contaminating things. I think that's pretty much it. I have one more favorite that I want to share with you guys. I was looking on, on the internet for like those spiky balls that you could just um, lie down on and it just hits your pressure points in like your back or your neck or your shoulders. And I was looking on AliExpress and they had cheaper ones on there and I was like, yes, sure, why not? Because, you know, it's a lot cheaper. And then I came across this peanut, which is the same thing as the ball, but it just looks like a little peanut and it's got like spikes on it. Oh my gosh, this feels so nice when you're lying down on it on like a really sore place. I gave this to my mom and she likes it. I think she said that she wishes it was bigger. But for what it is, I reckon it's pretty good. This was $2.93 US, you guys. <laughs> so funny it was free shipping i think everything was free shipping besides the uh, phone case that i showed you guys now this feels really nice really nice i tried it too i had like some lower back pain and that was starting from like my knee pulling onto my quad pulling onto my back so then i just kind of rolled on my side and i put this underneath my quad and i just lay there for a bit and it just gave me some sort of relief so I love this and like it's nice because it's shaped like a peanut so just lie on it it will just hit the bottom of your head and just give you guys some sort of relief so yeah that's pretty much everything that I bought from AliExpress so far that I've just been loving if you guys have any favorites from AliExpress then please leave them down in the comments leave me some links I'd love to check it out as always let me know what you guys have thought of the video down in the comments let me know of any requests I love getting requests from you guys I'm currently going through things and writing things down and just having a long list of videos to film if you guys have any specific product reviews you want me to do then leave them down in the comments as well like specific foundations lip swatch videos anything that's about it subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because i upload new videos every single week and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys i look very pale so yeah so you get, if you guys want to watch the video then keep watching i bought like a few things that i haven't loved i bought like a little fitbit type watch because i wanted a stopwatch i have yet to figure out how to use it as a stopwatch that thing just vibrates the time i get a message because it's linked up to my phone via bluetooth so i just let it die and put it away <laughs> whoops i'm messy now great